monopoly. In monopoly, the demand curve is highly inelastic. So highly inelastic since the sellers are priced for the seller because there is only one seller selling unique type of product. So the seller is price maker. The seller can set his own price. However, the marginal revenue is below the demand curve because the sellers are price makers. And in order for the seller to sell more, they have to, or the seller should decrease the price. That's the reason why the marginal revenue under monopoly is below the demand curve. Again, because the firm should decrease the price in order to sell more. And even if it is highly inelastic, the firm cannot just increase the price um, as much as this, the firm can because there is always government regulation. The government should always step in, just like the uh, electricity and water. So water water provider cannot just increase its price because there is always government intervention. Now this one is monopolistic competition. So in monopolistic competition, the demand curve is highly elastic. Because this kind of product is considered as luxury item. So, the marginal revenue is still below the demand curve because um, this, the, the firm should decrease its price in order to sell more. Now, how do we arrive at the demand curve of monopolistic competition? This is the demand curve of... What is the, that demand curve? That is pure... Competition. And this is the demand curve of okay, monopoly. This is the demand curve of monopolistic competition. That means demand curve of a purely competitive market may be twist or may shift or not really shift. Uh, move, we move down, and then the demand curve of monopolies we move up, and they are meeting halfway. Because when there is a monopolistic competition, it is a combination of pure competition and monopoly. That's why the um, demand curve is highly elastic, with the presence of competition and with the presence of monopoly. Again, the demand curve is below the, de the, the marginal revenue is below the demand curve simply because as the seller, you have to decrease your price in order to sell more. Because the sellers are price makers. This is the demand curve of an oligopolist. So it was mentioned yesterday or the other day that the demand curve of an oligopoly is, is elastic, but there is the presence of inelastic. So the first demand curve is, this is elastic, and the other one is inelastic. Okay, why is it a inch demand curve? Now, if there is no pollution, supposedly so only a young demand curve. So, the seller can increase or decrease the price. So, if the seller will increase the price, shall we say this is P sub O, this is the quantity. Other firms will never fund. But if the firm will decrease the price, this is P sub O. Supposedly, if there is no reaction, this is the quantity given the demand curve, right? 
But when there is a reaction of the right value, by decreasing the price, your rivals will also decrease the price. Therefore, your market share will be decreased because of the reaction of the right value. So suppose that this is your quantity, this will now be your quantity. So there is a decrease in your quantity because your demand, your market share will be divided among the other sellers when you are going to decrease your price. So therefore, our demand curve will twist. And the reason why uh, it is a kinked or a twisted demand curve, it is the reaction of the rival when there is a decrease in price. And what happened to our marginal revenue? Once we twist SIA, it will drop. So you've noticed that there is a drop in the marginal revenue once the, the derivatives react. So the marginal revenue of oligopolies is or will drop when the, the, the other firms will also follow a decrease in the price. So this is the unique uh, demand curve faced by an oligopolist. Any question? Wala ka? Wala, wala ka muna na. Ibali ako kiri siya akong dugangan. Mga picture mo? O, kiri ninyo, ganahan mo. My exam will be more on... What is that name? My staff? 